Welcome everybody. We are giving you a tour of Swanee today and I'm with Ashley today and this is her neck of the woods. She lives here. Thanks Sarah. Yes, you guys, I've actually lived here with my family for 11 years now. Time seems to fly by so quickly. So I thought what better way to show you around than to actually drive through the areas and just give you a tour of where I live on a daily basis and where possibly you could too. All right, so let's go. All right, so currently right now we are navigating through Swanee and you'll see that there are cops out because the train straight ahead is stuck on the tracks and apparently this is a frequent thing, right Ashley? It is, it's kind of funny. Um, but the train, for whatever reason, on a regular basis, when I say regular, I mean like maybe once a month, um, gets stopped on the tracks and so the cops come out and just kind of direct you around but we have a new roundabout that they've actually created down here that we'll probably go through just to help with the flow of traffic so it's really relieved some of the traffic coming up Beaufort Highway. And right now we are driving past the Suwannee Town Center and we have that on the left and then you have the police station here on your right. today at the Swanee Greenway, which is one of the most popular areas that people come to jog or cycle. As you can see, it's 
over four miles and it starts from McGinnis Ferry and takes you through downtown Swanee and continues on. My family and I use this a lot. We have dogs and we come here to walk them or let the kids get their exercise and ride their bikes throughout. It's also available year round. As you can see right now, the leaves are falling, they're changing color, so it's beautiful. And in the springtime, you're getting all of that new growth coming in. You might hear a little bit of road noise right now because I'm standing next to McGinnis Ferry. So this actually wraps around over four miles from McGinnis Ferry over to Swanee Town Center, which is located off of Swanee Dam, and then continuing on. we are approaching North Gwinnett High School which is straight ahead and um, it is a huge high school that serves Swanee. Yes um, it's one of the top rated in the county so obviously that drives a lot of people you know the desire to live here in Swanee so you have the local high school here um, then just about a couple blocks down the road you have the middle school as well. It's kind of make it super convenient for families that live so close to uh, the schools that our kids go to school at. Absolutely. city of 
Swanee. So Ashley, you live here. What are some of your favorite things that you and your family like to do? So we always come to Town Center. They have a lot of family things going on throughout the year. Um, during the spring and summer, they have a farmer's market every Saturday morning. So sometimes we'll come up here and just grab breakfast and grab some groceries. Um, then they always have movies and things like that. So that's probably one of our favorite things. I will say that the number one reason that we moved here was schools. It's probably a, a big ticket for a lot of people with families is the school districts. And I can say that thankfully, all of the school districts that are in the Swanee area are some of the top rated. So this is Swanee Town Center at its best. You can come here year round. During the holiday season, it's gonna be lit up. They've got a lot of things going on on the stage back here. During the summertime, they've got food truck Fridays. They've got things parked over here for all of the farmer's markets that I was telling you about. And there is never a dull moment because we have Swanee Fest, we have Wine Fest, Beer Fest. There's every fest that you can possibly think of. Behind me, I'm sure you can see the kids playing. It's soccer season wrapping up. So a lot of times you'll see the park full of kids and families grabbing pizza or playing football, you name it. There's tons of shopping options here. We've got Peachtree Run, which is going to be for all of you guys that are serious about your running. And then we have things like Dress Up and Fabric. Now, as far as eating, we've got Mellow Mushroom, which is great to take the kids to, or we have Tequila Mama, which is one of Sarah and I's personal favorites. You can grab some tacos and just have a great time. Still Fire is one of the local hot spots. It's actually run and owned by people that live here in Swanee. They have a brewery and you can actually take your beverage and walk across, or they have food trucks there all the time, different every time, so you can really just look forward to what's gonna come. front of Rita's frozen ice. They have frozen ice as well as frozen custard and I have to say I lean towards the custard side. However, my favorite thing about them is how much they give back to the community. So many of the elementary schools here throughout the year will host events here. Another great thing about Swanee Town Center is there are tons of neighborhoods that are within walking distance. So like we mentioned before, the Swanee Greenway will lead you right up to here. There's also a tunnel that leads across to that area where we showed the public library. My family and I love to come here on the weekends. We will grab a pizza from a little mushroom, just throw a blanket down, kick the soccer ball around. It's just a really great time and it's free. These are just a few of the reasons that me and my family have chosen Swanee to call our home. If you're thinking of making a move, we would love to help you. You can find our information below.